hello guys I'm back with another video and today we are going to make a video about a comparison of two newly produced smartwatch uh, one of them is the GPRB 1000 which was released uh, last year is the arrangement 2018 now not the yeah, last year the last two years and now we're gonna compare it with the similar similar form factor which is the uh, GBDH1000, which is uh, the previously released uh, from G-Shock Japan, uh, the G-Squad uh, watch, which includes uh, the heart rate monitor and also, you know, notification setting from uh, phones. And without further ado, let's go unbox and compare those two awesome G-Shock watch. Let's go. Okay guys, uh, before I resume with my unboxing, I would like to thank all my subscribers, my existing subscribers, and if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe uh, to the channel, and it helps me a lot to do more videos in the future. And before that, I would like to make a wrist check for the day. Uh, indeed, I'm wearing the GPRB 1000, which is the arrangement 2018 as the title indicate and today I'm gonna unbox this newly produced uh, G-Squad by Casio which is the GBDH1000 okay and let's go with the unboxing so inside this bag inside this uh, box we have the GBDH1000 which is the uh, red version uh, the red version is the GBDH1000-4 uh, as indicated in the uh, official G-Shock website so here inside the box okay, we have the product description okay, G-Shock and Inside the G-Shock box, we have product description. Okay, as you can see, there's the GPS, heart rate, smartphone link, and the 20 bar, water resistant, also dual charging system, which is the solar powered, and also we have the USB charging. Okay, before we continue to look at the watch, we might uh, see what's inside the box. Inside the box, we have the charging cable. This is proprietary charging cable by Casio. And this is the, I believe this is the manual and also the module for this model. Okay, with the warranty also inside this model here. We'll get back to this later on. Okay, and before that, okay. This is the new uh, smartwatch fitness fitness watch from the first fitness watch from G-Shock. Okay, uh, this is the red one. A very very stunning looking G-Shock. Okay, and we will see side by side comparison with the GPRB derangement 2018. So the tap here is to have the tap, the GPS Bluetooth, and this is the GBDH 1004JR. So the for the fan market. And okay, here is the okay. The main difference between these two is the material why the GBDH uh, GPRB1000 is more expensive than the GBDH1000 is uh, mainly for the material as we can see over here it's the uh, for example the band for the arrangement it's the carbon fiber band which is the material is more expensive than this urethane they use the urethane Okay, for this watch over to my left, the, the 
arrangement, it's mainly for navigation. The navigation when, when you are out in the jungle or in the desert, it's helped you to na navigate. And both of these watches solar powered. And as I said, uh, the material in the GPRB is more expensive than the GBDH because it uses the sapphire, cr sapphire crystal and also a ceramic back case over here. So this GPR B1000 used the, what do you call that, uh, not the charging cable like uh, this, what do you call, uh, the GBDH, the G-Squad, they have this cable over here. So this G-Squad charge faster than this arrangement. This one it take about four to five hours to charge and this one took a bit faster. So now we look at the GBDH. So the watch is not yet set to the correct uh, correct what do you call that time. So I push the mode here. We have the what do you call that the workout. Okay, the stopwatch. I push the mode button over here. The barometer, the activity. As you can see, this is newly uh, unpacked, uh, unbox watch. It's not, uh, no, uh, there's no data yet for the distance, pace, and ascent. So there you go, no status and notification. So the light, so you can see the light over here is quite similar. Okay, you mean backlight, blue black light, backlight and it's the back okay this is the run button over here okay you can see now once you push this it will automatically receiving the uh, GPS signal uh, because I'm inside my house now the signal would not be that uh, good so So now it's the compass you can see as you can see and the display if you push the display it will change with the barometer uh, the compass this is the up and down button as you can see re forward and reverse okay okay and then you push the back button okay and then you push this uh, button again to uh, either resume, save, or delete. So I'm going to delete this uh, uh, activity data. So we will go back to the main display. Take a while to delete that. So what is the difference between these two? So mainly it's uh, how you navigate through the watch. So this arrangement over here, okay, you can see how you navigate is you can push this uh, button mode button and you can scroll through the crown this is rotating crown over here and you can simply if you want to select that uh, mode and you can push okay push the you already call that the crown so for example you can adjust the display so you can push that you can go to the screen for example and then you can navigate through the watch different with this uh, GPDH model uh, we have this display this mode okay the heart rate mode okay workout stopwatch barometer TVT and so on so notification okay and the band here if I try my wrist it's kind of uh, soft it's a your thing indeed it the purpose is for you to feel comfortable doing your run and this uh, we call it a breathable breathable band a lot of uh, holes in it so make your wrist easier to breathe and whether you get time you're sweating so it is uh, indeed uh, what do you call that? Uh, lighter than this arrangement over here. So
so the spec of those uh, these two watches the GPRB 1000 is uh, the size of the case is the height the uh, width and depth is 60 60.3 times 57.7 times 20.2 millimeter and this GBDH 1004JR is 63 uh, times 55 times 20.4 millimeter so it's a uh, slight different if you can see here the thickness is quite the same okay the weight of this both of this watch the weight of this GBDH uh, the G squad is about 101 gram Okay, 101 gram and the heavier uh, GPRB is 142 gram so the difference there is about 40 to 41 gram and if you see in the uh, official website the GPDH uh, doesn't they stated there it doesn't have tough solar but this is clearly a solar powered watch and then the uh, they have both have uh, GPS signal uh, reception for linking compass barometric pressure altitude measurement temperature temperature measurement and tide and graph I believe that the arrangement have the tide and graph data uh, you can set it in the apps afterwards and both of this watch is 20 meter water resistant so you can see now both side by side you can see it is about the same thickness to my eyes about the same thickness and then the heights from lug to lug uh, the GBDH is a bit higher okay if you see my hand over here it's a bit higher than the GPRB I believe the width is uh, bigger with the arrangement rather than the GBDH so uh, my thoughts on this two is if you want to own this watches it depends on your you know your activity if you want to go to navigate inside jungle or desert you better have this derangement because it have the better navigation and also this newly produced GBDH 1000 uh, is mainly for fitness because you have the run button but the lack uh, side of this watch it doesn't have the you know uh, furthermore activity like other smart watches that I own they have plenty of activity including swimming other sports and this mainly for running so if you are for example familiar with Garmin watches the navigation to this watch is uh, quite similar with other G-Shop watches if you own happen to own uh, other watches so I'm gonna put it in my wrist again check my heart rate and later I will connect it to uh, my watch so the heart rate so I'm gonna read the heart rate from my wrist Okay, it's quite a take a while. So there you go, in about 83.84. So next, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the time. For example, now you push this display button over here, and it will lead you to the setting. Okay, now you can navigate to home time, world time, alarm, profile, auto run, deep light, and also vibration and also pairing setting. It's also airplane mode, and also you can find your phone via this uh, watch. So you can reset all setting and also regular regulatory. So now I'm gonna adjust the time. So manually, okay. Just the time for now is 10:46. So we're gonna 
okay push the button and you will shift to the uh, minutes so 46 okay and today is the 2020 June 10th of June so if you want to exit simply you're gonna push the back button over here save and exit yes so complete setting over there is uh, can also change the 12 hour or 24 hour so you I prefer the 24 hour watch setting so now it's the uh, display 2247 so back okay I believe that both of this watch have their you know display a bit different I guess okay now you have the sapphire glass and also this is mineral crystal you have the urethane band and the material for the body is uh, I believe the same resin okay guys I forget to tell you that both of this watch actually uses different app inside the App Store and also Play Store for Android for example the uh, the GB, GBDH 1000 uses this uh, apps called the T-Shock Move and the different apps uses used by the arrangement is the G-Shock connected app so uh, both of these app is uh, very different okay the purpose is one is for navigation and one is for exercise okay both watches and you can see other differences between this watch is the button so the arrangement have the you know uh, better material they have the steel button you can push okay five steel button and this uh, G, uh, the G squad have this sporty looking button over here so both are very very good looking watch for me so owning this is uh, if you're a G-Shock fan you have to own uh, the, this new GBDH is look gorgeous although maybe you know there are discussion of people saying that if this watch is the best fitness watch over there if you are mainly on running so this is watch this is the watch for you and if you uh, consider any other sports such as you know football any of that sports that been provided in other smartwatches then this is not uh, the kind of watch that you want to buy but as the G-Shock fans this would be an awesome addition to your collection so there you go guys side by side comparison between these two and for me the form factor of these two watches is quite the same um, as you can see there, uh, the width, the side by side, I think it's the arrangement is a bit bulkier than the GBDH. So uh, that's all for me. I'm going to test the running features uh, in the next video. So this is the comparison between these two. Okay. So guys, which one would you choose? either the GBDH 1000 or the GPRB 1000 for me both are gorgeous so that's all guys uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for many other video in the future and don't forget to subscribe like and comment in the comment section and uh, tell me what you think about both of these gorgeous G-Shock watches okay okay guys thank you guys